show, baby. Good morning. It is 6.59 a.m. and it's a Friday, which means I get to work from home since I'm hybrid. So it's gonna be a chill work from home day. Now, I'm not gonna work entirely from home. I'm actually gonna pack up here and go to a coffee shop. Coffee shops, working out of coffee shops are just like one of my favorite things to do. I actually have my most productive blocks at coffee shops. I don't know what it is about the vibe there. I just, I just go heads down and I get a lot done, but it should be a pretty chill day today. I only have a few tickets to look at for, I believe, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. What's up? Do a kickflip. Yo, do a kickflip. Do a kickflip. Holy shit. It's just a few small bug tickets that QA caught. It's mostly just CSS stuff. It's mostly just styles. And on Fridays, we typically try to keep them meeting free. I do have one meeting today. Inevitably, sometimes people just put stuff on the calendar. Yeah, I got a meeting at 9. 30. Not a big deal, but like I said, overall it should be a super lax day today. So I'm gonna get dressed, pack up, and head out. Silly me, we we almost forgot the fit check. Very monochromatic today. We're just trying to match the weather. You know what? You know what I just realized? I did not do the intro to this video. So hey, in case you are new here, I'm Derek. I'm a front end developer based out of Los Angeles. And like I mentioned earlier, today's just gonna be like a chill work from home day. We're caffeinated. I'm obviously back at the apartment. Laptop is plugged in and I'm just gonna continue working on a few Jira tickets for some bugs that our QA team has reported. And then I'll actually, I'll, I'll actually walk you through how I typically handle that stuff. It's a pretty standard process. Our QA team will flag certain bugs or something that they find or see on the front end. They'll either assign them directly to a developer like myself, or they'll go to the project manager who will then reassign them back to me. And then as the developer resource who's working on that task, we basically just investigate the issue, check it out, look at the components and put in a fix. Most of the time it's small stuff, but now and then it'll be a, a more of a deeper dive, more technical issue that will require a little bit more effort. But the few that are on my plate today are fortunately very low level, very easy. Most Mostly just cosmetic stuff, so let's take a look. Okay, so we use Jira as our ticketing system, so some of you may be familiar with that. And the call out from QA here is that on the Arabic version of the Tony Hawk website, we're just lacking a little bit of padding on this guy right here. This is a pretty common issue that we run into with a lot of our components, especially in languages like Arabic that are read right to left. And we, as the developer, we try to account for all of these edge cases, but ultimately we do miss some spots. That that when a user toggles the locale button for that page to change the language, inevitably there will be some small stuff like this that does come up. But fortunately, it's a super easy fix and it will just require like, I don't know, one line of CSS to fix and then like we should be good. Something this small, I'll just make the tweak and push it immediately to production and then we'll be good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly verify that that is actually broken. So I'll open a new tab here. We'll go to Tony Hawk, the and I'll just scroll down. So this is the component in question. At the bottom of the page, there is a locale selector. So I'll just change that to Arabic now. And you can see everything flips right to left. And I'll just scroll down to that component. And yeah, you can see it's just writing up right against that image there. I'll just inspect this. And you can see on this element here, there's just no right padding. So this is an, 
this is a quick fix. This is super easy. And since all of our pages HTML element gets this lang attribute, that is essentially the hook that I can hook into with CSS to write some targeted code to style that particular element and fix this issue just for this locale. So easy, this one's, this one's pretty easy. This one should be super quick. I can push this code to production, purge the cache that's on the page, and then kick the ticket back to QA to verify on production, and then it's, it's good to go. So this is a pretty typical process of how I would tackle a small cosmetic ticket like that on my day to day. Just like that, we are solid. Now I can just kick this back to QA and we're all good. It's a little left for two, it's uh, 2.15. I just wrapped up on lunch and now I'm gonna focus on my app design for a little bit. Fortunately on our team, as one of the developers, we typically get the second half of Fridays to dedicate to personal projects, learnings, uh, online courses, You know, say we wanna learn a new framework or something like that. If our tasks are done for the day, we get the second half of Friday to focus on that. Like I said, it's if time permits, but fortunately all of my tickets are kind of wrapped up for the day, so I'm good. And I'm just gonna focus on my app design for a little bit and then just call it, just wind down. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate y'all hanging out. I'm gonna fire up Illustrator and just focus on this design for a little bit before chilling for the rest of the day. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a like or a comment. And as always, just remember, if you wanna support the channel, all you have to do is... Thank you.